that's how I view all my charts in a candlestick format and as you can see I keep my indicators to a minimum. Now I can tell from looking at a chart if a share is healthy or unhealthy by how it's trending. Just like a doctor can take a look at your blood results to tell you your health, I can look at a chart to see the health of a share. Now the chart I currently have open is a nice healthy share and has a nice rising share price and this is the sort of share that I would want to own. If I scroll back through the chart there was a point where this share was unhealthy and it had a falling share price and this is not the sort of share that I would want to own. I might short sell it during this time so I can profit from the falling share price but I'm not interested in owning it until it becomes healthy again. And once it becomes healthy I'm happy to stay with it and I will have a trailing stop loss that I use to tell me when to get out of the share. Now what I want to show you next is how I run a market scan. Metastock is a very powerful program that allows me to not only view charts of shares but code my own personal market scans based on my trading rules and create my own indicators. To run a scan I launch this explorer and in here I have my trading systems coded. I trade two main systems a weekly system and a daily system. The weekly system is my long term trend following system and I run this scan at the end of each week looking for shares that, that are in the early stages of an uptrend and my goal is to stay with these shares for the longer term until my long term trailing stop loss is hit. The second system is my daily system. This is my swing trading system and it has an average hold time of 30 days and aims at taking out a swing move in an already trending share. I will run a scan for this system now to show you how it works. I'm going to run the scan on the ASX 200 stocks. Once the scan is complete I hit the reports button and all the shares that meet my entry trigger criteria for this system appear in the report. Now if I'm looking at opening a new trade today I will be selecting a share from this list if there is something that I like. So what I do next is I will open all the charts that come up in the scan and I will view all of these charts to select the best looking share based on my visual trading rules. Once I find a share I like and I decide to buy I will apply my trailing stop loss to the chart and I will show you how I do this now by applying my daily system template to this chart. As you can see there are blue arrows on this chart and each time a blue arrow appears this is the entry trigger for my system and it means that the share will come up in the report from the scan that day. The line underneath the candlesticks is my trailing stop loss indicator line and I will stay with the trade until such a time as this stop is hit. So once I select a trade the next thing I do is I go to my smart trader spreadsheet and I go to the position sizing calculator and the position sizing calculator is where I input the information for that share and it will determine how many shares I can buy based on my money management rules. And these rules are all covered in my training programs. I will then place a trade with my online broker and set my initial stop loss. I then set up a trade worksheet where I complete all the details of the trade and I will use this to track and manage the trade as it progresses. And finally I will add the chart of the share that I just purchased to my favourites folder so that I can keep track of it. Now all of this activity takes about half an hour of my time per day as I have it all coded and systemised. Once I am fully invested in the market it's a matter of managing the trades I have open by moving stop losses as they go my way. I have money management strategies that I adhere to to do this. So that's just a brief review of what I do as part of my trading process. Hi guys, David Jennings here from the Online Trading Mastermind and I just wanted to show you that intro at the start of the video here just to give you some insight into the way that your trading can develop and you can become a confident, consistent, disciplined trader once you put the work in up front. And I suppose that's the real insight and key here that I want to talk about in the video with Justine. I've got Justine on the, the line here again and I want to talk about what it took to get Justine where she is today. Obviously. Uh, to get to that point it's not going to be something that happens overnight but once you do get it then you can really hone your trading down and it can become more of a part-time endeavor, endeavor rather than rather than a full-time endeavor. So I'd um, just like to welcome you to the call Justine, are you there? I am David, Hi, hello. Paul. Oh thank you again for your time, the insight that you've been giving is fantastic and we've got some great feedback so perhaps I'll, I'll hand it straight to you, I know you put together a little bit of a presentation just to take us through um, 
basically your trading journey and I think I suppose first off we should start with a disclaimer but I'll, I'll throw that to you. Yes, I've always got to do the housekeeping, um, that's part of my licensing rules. So it's just to remind you again that um, I'm not here to provide any personal investment advice. I'm licensed to provide general advice only uh, and this is just to inform you about that licence that I have set up. Excellent. So I'll just give you guys a moment to read that and if you've got any questions you can get in contact with Justine and I. Okay, so... Perhaps we'll start off with your trading journey, Justine. How did you get to, to where you are? Well, yes, it was definitely a journey, I can say that much. Um, well, it started off like a hobby when I was first at school, but it's when I made the transition into full-time trading that um, it, the journey really began. So I definitely learnt a lot about myself in trading full time than any other career and I call it a self discovery journey because it was a, it was a journey of inner growth and there's a lot of traders out there that say it is a spiritual journey and the reason why it is is because of the emotions that become involved once you put your own money in the market, the highs and the lows that you go through um, and yes I made all the mistakes in the book like all the other traders out there, you read about it, you know about it but you still do it. So. For me, in those early days of trading, when I look back, I know I lacked patience. Um, you know, I, I took profits too early. I just wanted to get into everything I could get in. I beat myself up inside my head, you know, over losing trades, over even winning trades that I'd exit too early. Um, I was always afraid of missing opportunities, and you know, all these things that you, you put yourself down in, in inside your head and um, talk to yourself negatively and um, I used to. I also over traded in those early days as well. Um, I. It's like you want to be in the market. You're afraid of missing opportunities, and you just you want to be in everything. And then you realise how important risk management is when things start to go wrong. And of course, I can look back and see my journey at how wonderful hindsight is. So, um, but you know, I had to go through that to get to where I am today. That was part of my psychological development as a trader and that's what's made me the trader that I am today and so I understand where people are, what they're going through when they first start out. Um, I've been there, I went through it as well and I basically had to stop trading and take a step back and start all over again at one stage there because I was also getting paralysis by analysis. So what I decided was I want to become a peak performer in the markets so that's what I set out to do and I can now confidently look back and say that you know I have mastered trading. It was a journey that it started off with that I had to go through and it's made me the trader that I am today and it made me realise what sort of trader I wanted to be by going through that journey because I sat there and watched the computer screen. I totally became consumed by it and I thought this isn't the life that I want, this isn't, isn't what trading I want trading to be but I had to do it and had to go through it to know what I wanted trading to be for me and to make it a lifestyle choice for me. 